I need someone to explain large language models like ChatGPT to you like you're five, I got you. And what is one thing that five-year-olds really like? Frozen. I mean, it's crazy. We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what, That's what I was going to say. Or was it? We finish each other's... I mean, based on all the words that I've heard in my life, probably statistically, the word that should come next is sentences. We finish each other's sentences. But I've only heard so many words in my life, and I'm not that good at remembering all of them, and I'm also not that good at statistics. So now I want you to imagine a large language model. And inside that model are all the words. Something like every sentence that has ever been written on the internet or in a book. And it is very very good at statistics. And that model has also been calculating the probability of what word comes next over and over and over and getting feedback on it. When you ask ChatGPT a question, it's not finding an answer for you and all of that training data that it had, it's finding a word, the most probable word. But it is very, very good at this and very, very fast. And the more that it practices, the better it gets. But that's also why it can get things wrong because the most probable word doesn't always lead to correct information 100% of the time. Like in the case of Frozen, sentences may have been statistically correct, but it would have been the wrong answer.